But when you know that, you know, I, 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 like, I like this illustration in the Bible where the thief on the right hand side, you know, that really taught so, in fact, it's one of the wonderful lessons in the Bible. When he was about to die, he has never invested in anything of the heaven. No investment. It's very empty. No work, nothing. And he got to stay, but he has the knowledge. Yes. Maybe the other guy doesn't have the knowledge, but he has the knowledge. And when the other one was saying something else, he said, because we have done this. And he didn't say that. You know, he first of all condemned himself. We are reaping the reward of our wrong. He didn't just say that. He also do what? He used his mouth to do what? To confirm that please. Maybe he has not said that. Do you know how many people that would have gone to hellfire if that story is not there? That is the confidence that we have. When you go to prison, you talk to someone, the person will tell you, I've killed several people. I don't know, maybe God can. Because that would be very instructive when you want to talk to such people. And that story, in fact, gave hope to so many people that even though if your sins is a future as that I will make you as what king white as snow. Praise the Lord. It takes you what? Confidence. You will come unto the process of the Lord with what? With boldness. You know, the devil will tell you, why do you want to say this? Do you think he can answer your prayer? You, a sinner, a wretched sinner. I mean, I don't know if you've got a substitution before. We will be speaking to you silently. You, you cannot answer your prayer. But the Bible says, even when we're here, sinners, Christ has died for us. If you can, the Bible says, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? Shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So, we'll look at our class activity together. Let's look at the lesson number two. How can a man cleanse himself? That's the lesson number two. How can a man cleanse himself? How can you cleanse himself? Cleanse yourself? The teacher uses the student's responses under the class one. Now, how can a person cleanse himself to be acceptable to God? Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to cleanse you of impurities, of sins through the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the first thing. You ask God to cleanse you of every impurities, every sins, iniquities through what? Through the blood that was shed. That blood was shed for what? For the atonement, for the remission of your sin, once and for all. Look at it. Even in the Bible, in the Old Testament, the blood of animals are used for what? For the atonement of sin. Different type of sin. You have different type of blood you shed. But the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ was shed for what? For the remissions of the sin. So the benefit is there for you to tap into. Let's look at the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrew 9. For by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever, those who have been made holy. Then 22, right? Yeah, let us, yeah, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings. Having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse, to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our body washed with pure water. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How much more shall the blood of Christ with the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God? Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the God. The blood was shed to purge you. Now, do you have the responsibility now in 22? Uh, 22 and all those all things by the Lord purge with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission. The blood was shed for you. To what? To purge you, to, to purge you of every sin and every unrighteousness. Now, let us move. Let us come. Praise the Lord. Amen. Allow the word of God to transform the areas of your life which are not pleasing to God. Strictly abide by the principle of the words of God. The words of God to transform you. 
they would say when everything about Christianity is about the Ten Commandments. Thou shall not do this. Thou shall not do that. Thou shall not do this. When you observe all of them, you know you have got into the house. You have told your children, "Do not do this. Do not do this." Those things have become what there is no ignorance of it. it they have become laws that do. See, all of you come together. And we've agreed that this is what we're going to do. This is what we should not do. Now, when those things guide you, you begin to behave appropriately. Let's look at Psalm one nineteen. Psalm one nineteen. Nah, yes. He said, "How can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word?" By living what? According, according to, to your word. By living according to those to the mirror, the God, of, the ways of the Lord at the mirror. After confessing your sin, never go back to them. Never go back to it. To your sin. You have confessed them. You have said that this is what I do. Now, don't not go back to them. Avoid anything that is evil. Avoid anything that is what? Evil. That's why. Abstain from every what? Appearances of evil. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. Abstain. Stay away. Or flee. Flee. Flee means do not stay. Do not evaluate. Do not consider it. It is wrong. Avoid the deeds of the flesh or ungodly attitude and behaviors. Never embrace God disapproves. Romans chapter 8 verse 13 and Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Romans chapter 8 13 and Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. It says, For if all of you live after the flesh, all of you shall die. But if all of you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, all of you shall live. Praise the Lord. Mm. Do mortify what? The body. The body. Mortify means staying away. Abstinence. Staying away. Let's look at Colossians 3, verse 5. He said, put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. Idolatry. These are the things we've mentioned some of them then. Mm -hmm. We should what? Stay away from them. Mm -hmm. Draw close to God, studying the God's words, prayer, worship, and what? Fellowship. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have two class activities. We have activity one. Here, can the dirty person approach the throne of grace? If yes, how? If no, why? That's the first class activity. Can a dirty person approach the throne of grace? If yes, how? If no, why? Can a dirty person? Okay. Can a sinner? Let me put it this way. Maybe can we, we know what they are talking about? The contest in which they are talking about a a, a dirty person. Can such person have sensed the throne of grace? If yes, how? And if no, why? Mm. Quick answer. I think no. Okay. Yeah, because before we can do that, we have to submit ourselves to God for God to purify us because we can't do it on our own. No, you have answered the contradiction. <laughs> you answered that no. And you answer if we have to do this. If we have to go to the throne. Yes, if you must go. If a yes. sinner must go. Yes, yes. Can the sinner go at all? Okay, no. Okay, what is the throne of grace? Because we, maybe we should also understand what the destination is. Then we will now know if I'm fit to go there as a sinner. And if I'm not fit, how, what can I do? Okay, if I'm fit, how can I assess it? If I'm not fit, now, why? What is a throne of grace? And what is a grace? 
Something, something I'm not Something I'm not I, I don't I, I did not deserve. Thank you so much, man. Mm -hmm. Now, we said something. Sorry, sir. Tell me something. We said something. When we were yet sinners, mm -hmm. that I'm not qualified. I've been. And Christ what, died for me. So that is the merit. That, something that I'm not merited, but somebody had to pay the price. Like, there's some song, he paid the price. I could not pay. I hold the debt. I could not pay. I need the song. Mm -hmm. To wash my sins away. <laughs> now, and now I say amazing grace. Yeah, and you've done amazing grace. Lord Jesus, pay the debt I can never pay. It. That is the debt. And now, that is the throne of grace. Like our definition, unmerited. Now, can a sinner assess it? Yes. Yes. Sinner can assess it. Yeah. Now. Yeah, so that kind of sense is, well, it, it, from the uh, as an example from the, the two teeth beside the Jesus when he was on the cross. Was able to assess it. Is that yeah. Right? One was able to assess it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. And the Bible said, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation. All yeah. things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Yeah, and we awesome. understand the throne of grace is an unmerited favor. So we understand that God is giving to us our heart desire, not what we desire. What we desire is condemnation. Yeah. But he's giving us our heart desire. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So we have many instances that people were able to approach the... Uh, the throne of grace. Mm -hmm. Grace is unmerited favor. When you approach God, you are in the, 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 the platform. The throne of grace is the platform for everyone. Say, for God so loved the world. And the Bible did not say, for God so loved the righteous. Or for God so loved the Christian. Say, for God to, so, so loved the world. Both the bad, the good, the ugly. God loved us. And he died for you. He's saying he's only God's son to die for us. Through that blood and recognition, there is a ministry of reconciliation that is given to us. Amen. So that platform is created, is there for everyone. That is why at the last day, anyone that has heard this message of good news, you don't have excuse that I, I, I cannot approach the throne of grace, as you said. So everyone can approach it. God that make it free. So the vein that, that have been covering the that, that throne have been what? Cut off. If Jesus said it is finished. It is finished that everyone have access to talk to God now. If you are willing, according to uh, Isaiah chapter number one, verse 19, he said, If you are willing, we that is decisive, if you are willing and obedient, he said you will eat the good of the land. Thank you, sir. Praise God. Praise God. So Amen. we can assess it. So before you quickly go, let me quickly read this first. Sorry, but you will say something now. The spirit is uh, okay for uh, from 15. That's Romans chapter 8, verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage, again, to fear. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry what? Abba Father. Adoption. Now, you have received you receive the spirit of adoption. Secondly, the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Now, and if children then ears have visited the graduation from adoption to become children, from being children to become what? Ears. Ears of God and joint ears with Christ. See the elevation. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So all of us can assess what? Even the sinners can assess the throne of grace. And how do we go, how do we assess it? We assess it through the way what you have just said. By accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as the personal Lord and Savior. You want to say something, man? Like we say, the grace is available, but still you still have to pay the 
you still have to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Second one that we have there, how can a person stay clean? Hello? Mm -hmm. How can we stay clean? How can we stay clean? By constantly renewing our mind. By constantly renewing our mind. Constantly renewing our mind. It's, I wanted, uh, it's almost supposed to say that it's Yeah, I've got um, I've got more like a direct direct question. Um, do do Muslims have access to the throne of grace, for example? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, See, that, I don't understand that question because uh, someone cannot ask that. Jesus said, except who pass through me. You understand? He said, except who pass through me can see my father. So, about that one, we cannot answer that question. It's God that we can answer that one. <laughs> because, because Jesus Christ, is Jesus Christ we know that told us that through him we will see the father. That any other thing it's just different. You understand me? So about that one, because but we can see some Muslim that the heart is clean more than the Christian. You understand me? But but what Jesus said, uh, Jesus Christ said, He said, "Through me, we can see the Father." So Thank you. I don't know about that. <laughs> People are asking your questions, and it's like He answered it last week. We were discussing outside. He answered it last week. But I think. I want me kind of answer it already. Yeah. If Jesus said you can only access the Father through him, and we know the Muslim do not claim Christ as the Lamb of God, and we say we can only come to the presence of the throne, come to the throne of it through the blood of the Lamb, then they cannot. There's no. There's no. Um, there's no need to beat around the bush and say God only God can answer. We can answer according to the Bible. They cannot because. Christ, Christ is not recognized as Jesus is not recognized as Christ in the in the most in the Muslim religion. So how can they? It is not and we, we we said I don't know if it was here or during the Bible study. It's not about how moral you are. Your salvation is not based on your moral values. You can be all more morally correct and still go to hell. So if you don't have Christ, God does not recognize your morality when you stand in front of, you, of him. He recognizes Christ in you. So if you don't have Christ in you, it's Christ that gives us the righteousness to claim uh, eternity. So if you don't have Christ in you, how can you have Christ in you? The question is, uh, with what you said, Mark, is a research question. So it's something that, let me tell you something. To the candidate, it's not something that we use. Like I was telling my son, you go to Egypt, you try, I send you to Egypt, maybe for a course, for a program. You go there, they are saying that you now begin to teach them. And yes, Pharaoh was drawn in the rest, and uh, you are in Egypt. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
what do you want to happen to me? And I'll tell you, you know, <laughs> answer for yourself. And I want us to understand because I realize now the, it's not like the kind of school we have here. In, in, in Nigeria, you tell your child, do not do Islamic study. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. Here, they teach them everything. In their, they call it religious study, whereby everything will be taught. You, you may frown at it, but you know one for this thing. It will give them this opportunity to learn. Last week, sir, we were outside. You said when that, that somebody had that the other way, that the Geo says only God can actually, you remember last week, can actually answer that. Now, if I ask another question as a follow up to what we have just explained now, I will now say they are going to hellfire. Based on what we, we have just explained, mm -hmm. we will also claim that they are all going to help us. But let me tell you, in your country, in my country, in the Southwest, the people that initially came there, that came initially to my South, to the Southwest in Nigeria, they are Christian missionaries. But the people that went to the North, they are Muslim missionaries. Mm -hmm. So when you say the, in the Northern part of Nigeria, they are predominantly Muslims, and the Southern part, mm -hmm. predominantly Christians. Why? Because the people that actually they that first had interactions with them. We now want to look at it. What is the doctrine? We, you know, when you want to teach doctrine, you teach doctrine in the sense that uh, what does your doctrine, doctrine say about Christ? What does your does my doctrine? I'm not talking about you know Muslim is a religion, mm. but I'm talking even Christianity. Mm. You know, we can also classify to understand when you. Look at it, you look deeply, based on this line of argument, that mm. even the Catholics, mm. to an extent, you, yeah, begin to wonder, you begin to wonder, what are they doing? Yeah. I don't know maybe you understand that. Yeah. So, but what are we saying here? Yeah. Is that, it's a research question. It's not something, it's, you know, it is what they teach us. Mm. Yeah. If, you go, if, if you go to some library, you will read lots. It is not the, the book that you have, the Bible that we have. That is the entire Bible. No. You will have a lot to read. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. There are some, there are, there are some books, they call it the Book of uh, um, Deutero Chronica. Chron 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 there are five, by, five books that are also still there. That I've, I've read all those five. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we still have more. So when you look at it, it is the way, the, the perception we, they want us to have, that we have now. But that doesn't mean that we conclude. I, I don't know, because your Muslim brothers and sisters are going. Mm. Yeah. So, so I'll, you want to answer it? Yeah, I've got a follow up question to that. So, a follow up question is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the yeah. first question, uh, 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 I think, uh, yeah. only God, like what you said. So, yes, so, it's only God that can answer that question. Yeah, I then cannot. You have something to say. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, when, I, when we're out evangelizing, right? and I come across Muslims, right? I, are you saying that I shouldn't evangelize Muslims because, um, because Muslims are, they're, they're Muslims who are morally, more morally upright than some Christians? Can, can, I, can I say something? Mm. I, I myself, mm. I was an Anglican, okay. but I'm now in Reading. I think some people also talk me to Reading. Mm. Now, in, Talking to Muslims to also share with their religion, mm. I don't maybe you understand, mm. but I think something happened. Mm. I used to be when I was young mm. that uh, Reverend Father Sipratan, uh, Sipratansi or whatever was canonized because this was discovered about him. But let me tell you, that thing that was discovered that made him to be canonized mm. had been discovered on series of people, <laughs> had been discovered on series of Muslims. You know what I'm, yeah. what I'm talking about? Mm. They were, they, he was buried, he was not decayed. Mm. And they, when they got there, they still made the clothes, mm. right? They still made, they've seen yeah. serious several Muslims. Mm. Yes. <laughs> they've seen it. So, when you look at it, that's what we say. You know, the Bible says we should not contend. Then, you understand now? We, you, I can talk to you. Why don't you come to my church? Why don't you join me? Mm. I said, because if what I'm telling you is totally, I'm, I'm showing you the truth. Mm. That this, the, the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth, whosoever does. And I'm telling you, the way and the truth, they are vacant. I must be able to explain what the truth is. 
if the truth mm. states that thou shalt not do this, thou shalt not, and you realize that the religion you think, sorry, man, the religion you think that is very good, but they are doing all these things, they are making sacrifices that the Bible has said that we should not make, then you, you change. Right, so yeah, the more, so are, we, are we preaching the religion or are we preaching Christ? Yeah. That is where the question is. That's what I said. Is there, what's it called? We are not bringing them to a religion. Yeah, that, that, we are preaching Christ. That is what I said. Yeah. It's a research question. Because when you talk about Christ, then we isolate all of them that they are going to hellfire. In as much as you do not accept the Lord Jesus Christ as the personal Lord and Savior, and which is our teaching. So every other person, irrespective of whom you may be worshipping, who may be you be serving, be you. That's, that's the whole point, John 316. Yes, that is it. But we have to be careful the way we are saying people are going to heaven. Yeah. You understand? We have to be very careful. Right. Because Excuse me, sir. It's not no, I just want to. I know there is no. The time has gone. Yeah. Because I, I saw some people, for example. Sorry, I know I'm late. No, uh, no, no, I don't no, supposed no. to disturb. But no, one thing I used to <laughs> see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you have to say the truth. Yeah, next time you come early because I know it's uh, redeemed Lord, they don't like it. You you let on Sunday school, you start asking. Maybe we should do some research about it <laughs> yeah. during our Bible study. We should look at it. Yeah. And so all of us can also try. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so uh, Pastor, why don't you Teacher, I want to ask one question. Is it good for us to be, maybe, you will see Muslim? No, not Muslim. Our, this, our body, Christ. We will see like a Catholic, we will be using math to talk, saying that what they are doing is not right. We will see, uh, maybe like a, like a seller, we will say what they are doing is not right. Uh, we will see this one, we will say what they are doing is not right. I want to know about that. Because some people, if they want to talk about Catholic, they will just use math to destroy Catholic or say different type of things. Which that Catholic, nobody have not committed. Maybe something happened before. You understand me? <laughs> but I just want to know in the body of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. We understand from the word of God. If, if, if you are saying this is of pop, this is of this, this yes. is yes. carnality. Yeah. So I always Whenever, whenever I teach here, I say, if we, the Redeemer, say we are better than the Father, it's yes. carnality. Yes. We are not better than anyone. <coughs> Nobody is better than us. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. And Praise we must understand, the way we read our Bible, I believe the word of God. He said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. If the truth has power, not the way you put, you, you say it. He said, in John chapter number 6, 44, he said, No one will be able to come unto me except their father, the one that is in charge, draw them near. So God has the power to draw anybody. Just that the, the way he draws, no, the disciples were running. They were running when they saw uh, Saul before he became Paul. They were running from him because he was a lion. So the one that had the power draw him near before they were able to come to him. So what I'm saying. We Christian, we believe that the only way to make it to the throne of grace is through Christ. Yes. Now, we Christians, yeah, we Christians. So, in the other way, in the other side, they who still believe in their holy book, and when they use their holy book, that is their truth. Go. Exactly. So if I go there and I say this book, uh, you, this book is wrong. Are you all for this, this book is uh, yeah. no. Thank you so we much. believe on our. Our, our Christianity look at and the word of God and in Christ, yeah. which must carry our own cross. Yes. Not to be praise God. This one praise God. Right. So just praise, to praise, praise, praise God. Right. This I'm really sorry, sir. Okay. Next week, okay. right. uh, uh, on Wednesday, is it Wednesday, man? Yes. On Wednesday, let's whoever is going to take uh, mommy. I don't know. Sorry, but, <laughs> so maybe we should accommodate in the part of what we want to discuss uh, next week. Let's look at it. I do the research. Funny enough, the Muslims believe that the Christians are going to heaven. But the Christians believe that they are going to heaven. Yeah, they believe that they believe that we are going to heaven. They also believe that they themselves. Yeah. They believe that we are serving the same God you know, in different ways. And let but me we, summarize we everything in two words, which is already in this in the Sunday school, yeah. and which you started with. The our introduction said decisive, conscious, decisive effort. So it's what you decide, and you consciously follow up. The door is open to everybody. 
like uh, Dickie was saying, this gospel is for everyone that is living, that is on this head. So it's now left to everybody to decide. Yes. Where do you want to go? Conscious, decisive, 